I'm Ben. I'm the editor for this video. So, we've been having audio troubles lately. But then we found a solution. Oh, and we got a new mic. Look at that. And it was working great. There's not to say. The movie very well acted from, from and in it. Even yeah. the kid. The, the kid ah, acted okay. The kid's okay, I wanted to gain all the way up. You ever sometimes look at your hand and realize that you've like cut your knuckle, but you haven't done anything all day, so how did you cut your knuckle? Pork beef fry was pretty good. I liked it. What'd, uh, you, what'd you think? Uh, it, yeah, it was, it was alright. It was a movie. Yeah, it was, a, it was in fact a movie, yeah. Um, I liked this movie. I liked this movie. Did you like this movie? I liked the movie. I saw it as a biopic about this cool racing event that happened in time, and I was like, I like that, I'll watch it, and then I watched it. And it was, in fact, a biopic that sticks to the biopic formula, but it was really well made. Yeah. <laughs> Good movie. Very well acted from everyone in it, even yeah. the kid. The ah, kid actor did okay. The kid's performance was mainly just like... Either be happy that your dad's racing, or sad that he's... Not racing. Yeah, not racing. Dakota, come come get in the middle of the shot even there's no room and give your review. I'm out of frame still. Yes. Okay, cool. I mean, in my opinion, it was a decent film. It wasn't what I, ex I was expecting, though, because I was I was expecting something more about racing and cars than about uh, the people involved. Like, I didn't know the story of Ford versus Ferrari or any of that going in, so I wasn't expecting all the story and feels. Okay, so let me let me actually give this movie a little bit of what it deserves because I think it deserves some like a lot of credit. I think it's a really good movie. So I actually knew the story. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a big car guy. Not the biggest. I can't take a car apart, but I am into that culture. But the story was Henry Ford went all the way to uh, Italy. Was about to buy a uh, Ferrari. Enzo had agreed on that, but uh, Henry Ford gets all the way there with like a bunch of businessmen, like a huge armada of people. And then Enzo's just in there with like one or two other guys and like a pen, and he just basically just says no. And it, it kind of happened how you saw the movie, except yeah. Henry Ford was there. But like, I was expecting the whole movie to be about that, about Ford versus Ferrari, not so much about these two characters, mm. until I saw the trailer. Once I saw the trailer, it's like obvious, yeah, it's gonna be about these two guys. It's yeah. gonna be about them trying to achieve what they want. And one of my favorite things about the movie that I'd, I had heard about, but I don't think I expected it to be you know, as prevalent as it was, which is that it's not so much Ford versus Ferrari, it's art versus business. But those kind of um, levels about, you know, it's kind of, I love the part where uh, Carol, he points out this folder that went through all these different hands before it went to, yeah. uh, to Henry Ford. I love that moment. And that kind of speaks for what the entire movie is about. Um, there's a moment at the end that I'm not gonna spoil, but I want to talk about, which is probably my favorite moment in the whole movie, where it kind of made me look at the film differently, and I'm like, oh, this is what it's all about. But yeah, so it's deeper than uh, just kind of a, a simple cookie cutter film, but it, it is kind of that. It's just a little bit above average, I think. I think the filmmaking is great. Um, the first act, I would say, is nothing particularly special. Um, obviously, the racing sequences, the camera work, the cinematography. Uh, there's a sequence um, at Le Mans where it's raining, and anybody who uh, is into filmmaking knows that rain is a when it comes to filmmaking you know it's either you put a camera under something and then you have artificial rain spraying all over the set but I'm pretty sure they just waited for it to rain and they had the whole track you know it was raining and stuff so I can't imagine what that was like to film that was probably awesome um, but so I love the filmmaking I love the look of it uh, Christian Bell's performance is great Carol Shelby um, Matt Damon's performance is pretty good not nearly as good as Christian Bell but you know, Christian Bell is one of those guys who disappears into the role uh, script. Plus, real quick, um, um, I think Christian Bell had the better performance too, because he did have more to work with emotionally yeah. Yeah. than Matt Damon, who he's kind of the same all the way through, mm -hmm. from the beginning of the movie to the end. He's kind of he has the same attitude and the same thing pushing him forward, driving him. Christian Bell's kind of goes all over the place with it. Yeah, the whole movie, it's 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 Henry Ford and um, uh, Ken Miles, the business and the art, and then Carol Shelby kind of trying to be in between both of them and when he's in the business meetings he's trying to appeal to them when he's with Ken he's trying to appeal to him and trying to bring it to the middle um, so 
Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, Christian Bale obviously had a lot more to work with because he's playing the artist, he's playing the crazy yeah. dude. The script, what I was about to mention, the script could have been... I know, like, I, I feel like, and I know this is a bold statement, but I feel like I could make this movie better. Just not, not, no, 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 not by me directing it. Here, here's my thing. Make it better by taking the Blu-ray of it and just cutting stuff out. Like, cutting out little lines where, you know, something will happen and then somebody over here is like, oh my god, he's doing this, this is happening. And then they'll cut back to his family and they're like, he's doing this. Why is he doing that? Because of this. You're talking about the, you're talking about the Lamont race at the end. Where it would but, cut, it would cut from yeah. him, he's like doing, he's in the car, you see him, he's like, er, does something, and then, then it cuts to the pit, and they're like, oh my god, did he do that? And then it cuts to his he house, did. oh my god, dad did that, that's yeah. crazy. The whole film is just kind of, it falls into that, that pit for me, where it just starts to, okay, okay, let's treat this like a real thing. Uh, you know how... Let's say Dunkirk, you know, obviously way, way different film, but that movie gets a lot of praise because it's about the event And there's no like cutting to their families at mm -hmm. home and stuff. And it's just about the event I feel like this movie actually would have been a lot stronger if they had cut the uh, uh, The son and the wife definitely the wife. I'd say the son is a, is a big part of it. Maybe we just have uh, uh, Ken Miles bringing the son to you know when he's testing out the car as they do in the film But just kind of keep the wife out of it I thought there's there's a scene with the wife that I thought was where she starts complaining about you know uh, you're really gonna get back into this and I'm just like oh come on like we've been here in every other movie yeah it felt kind of pointless too because it was like a scene or two of her complaining about him going back on his decision to quit the garage thing after it got shut down but then also after those two scenes she's also immediately like all right, cool, so we're getting back into this because they're going to pay you a lot. That's okay, yeah. and then it's back to normal. And why did it take Christian Bale so long to say, they're going to pay me a lot. I'm doing this and it's going to pay. Like, why did it take him so long to say it? But, yeah, that's um, true. The moment, the moment he got home and she's like, where have you been, sir? He should have just been like, oh, yeah, they're giving me a lot of money. Just that point with the wife I thought was so ridiculously stupid. She was so f***ing hysterical for no reason. Because like, it was so because, ridiculous. Because, Don't lie to me. Oh my god, do you have no basis for that? Maybe, like, in the past, if they had shown something about, oh, he lied for some reason, then maybe there'd be some basis. But she flipped out for no f***ing reason. Yes, she did. They were going to lose their house, you know, like, she's probably old yeah. and stuff. But still, and then he took so long to just explain, yes, it pays. Lord Dakota, quit getting so hysterical. <laughs> we haven't get like that, all right? They do, right? right? It happens, you know. She's borderline crying. Like, it's yeah. so stupid. Uh -huh. What if you were losing your house? Even whenever the garage was locked up and she was like, oh, so we're, we're, were fudged or whatever she said whenever he's pulling pouring her drinking her out on the porch she wasn't even that upset then she was a little teary-eyed but she was so calm there was nothing in her character that would speak to that and even in the rest of the film there was nothing in her character that would speak to that hysteria do you have any other issues with the film than the portrayal of women i understood it i understood it it's because she was you know I'M UNDERSTANDING THE FEMALE! <laughs> Two and a half hours, I was never bored. I liked it. I was pretty engaged all the way through. Um, now, one thing, talking about being tired, one thing that kept me from not being bored and tired during this two and a half hour movie is uh, the race scenes are so well done. They're and great. The, Beautiful. Yeah, and then like just the movie theater sound having just a constant engine roaring over the entire race. Mm -hmm. And it never cut to. I don't think I can remember. I watched it. Doesn't cut to. Ago. It never cut to one of those like weird shots, like most movies with car races, where it's like it cuts to a driver and he gets all like dreamy and slowed down and like. Yeah, it never did that crap. It started to in the very beginning when it first shows Carol Shelby driving. I yeah. thought it was gonna do that thing where it's like, like it does that. High I don't count that just because yeah. all it was was a scene cut because he was remembering it. Mm -hmm. That scene at the beginning just reminded me of that cliche, you know, it's one of my least favorite things. Any film, any scenario where it's just, ooh, they're getting all, and I love cars, I'm fascinated by the 24 Hours of Le Mans and racing and stuff, but the stuff Ken Ma was saying where it's like, you know, going 150 some miles an hour and he sees that little crack, it's like suddenly you see everything. It's just, I like this movie a lot more than I'm probably making it sound. I thought it was really fun. I wish John Bernthal had more to do. Exactly. 
I told her that. So John Bernthal's in the movie, but he's like he only actually does anything for about two or three scenes. He, that's him and in then, every movie. And then like the other dude who was like a way worse actor was actually the the villain, the like yeah. executive president, whatever he was. Y yeah. Oh my I god. Hoping, John I was Bernthal. hoping John Bernthal would be that role. He would have been so but good. He wasn't. He, okay, he had a tiny role in Wolf of Wall Street. He was like kind of this like dick, but he was good at it. He had a tiny role in, in um, what's that movie? What's that movie? Wind River. He had a tiny role in Sicario. He had a tiny Baby role Driver. in Baby Driver. That's exactly what I was going to say. He has a tiny little baby role in everything. And it sucks because he's a great character actor. He needs to be like a really prominent supporting role. He in had about movies. five lines and then throughout the rest of the movie. He's just kind of when weird. it cut, Yeah, it would just cut to like his reaction in meetings. And he'd just do like the, I know. the turn to the camera almost and smirk like. I mean, I'm glad he's getting work, it. but I mean, who is this other guy? Like, give him the job. Yeah. Ugh. But that's not to say the other guy. He did great in his role because I really hated his guts. So he did it. Oh, he yeah. did it well. I yeah. just wanted John Berthold to do it better. See, this is my my the type of movie that this is. I understand what it is, but roles like that where this guy's just here to be a dick. Mm. I just beyond the fact that it just make. Of course, it wants you to hate his guts and stuff. But I just don't like how dramatic it can be and like how like at every turn this guy's trying to sabotage them. Like yeah. like in real life, yeah, there are roles like that, but they're just not. They're not like that. So, you know. I did love anytime something uh, that Shelby and Miles did that like was good for the company, you would just see shots of all these executives hear about the news and congratulate each other even though they didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. They just like hung around the office at every shot they're in and yeah, then they're like, like, good job team, yeah, we I did it. I love that, I love that. Get back to positives. I love what this whole movie's about. I love the story, I love the characters, I love the you know, again, business versus art. I love the little deep talking about, um, you know, the Ford factory's got 19 floors and that folder went through 22 other hands to get to the top, you know, to get to him. And I, just all that stuff. I thought it was really good. And just to get into spoilers again for a second, actually hard cut to another part of the review at the very beginning where we just went off of spoilers. He died. He died. He died. All right, now. Uh, <laughs> my favorite moment in the whole movie, and this is heavy spoilers again, but at the very end, Ken Miles wins the race, but he doesn't win the race, the other guy did. Um, when Enzo Ferrari tips his hat to him. It was like, I thought Enzo kind of represented just another business, but Enzo hates Ford no, because, yeah, because he's the art. And I, I was so stupid, because I'm a car guy, I know that. Enzo, you know, they make, they said in the beginning of the film, they make like a handful of cars a year, you yeah. know, it's like, so Enzo's more of the artist, and when he tipped his hat to Ken, I was like, I like him, I like him. Because because he saw just immediately that yep another example of big of the big company screwed over the mm -hmm. the independent guy seven out of ten um, yeah I, I'll agree with it this time uh, because you know six would be average but it is slightly better than average compared to other biopics and most movies in 2019 mm -hmm. cut the clip of Avengers Endgame. chickens <laughs> look at this <clears throat> check out my socks man what see how easy that was why are you trying to look up my nose i do that all the time i'm always looking up her nose